Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Pools of Darkness. We are still in the uh, um, Dro Temple, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, finish up. There's only three more rooms that we really need to hit. Uh, well, what good is this disguise if they're all going to uh, catch on to it? <clears throat> I mean, really. to do that uh, little fireball, but oh well. Oh, you know what? I'll just go back and rest. Or not. I didn't actually take all that much damage. Oh, I found treasure. Yay. A rapt group of dro stare at a huge web, pulsing with silver light. A priest raises her arms, and the light flares up. A booming voice speaks. This is recorded as Journal Entry 93. The Oracle speaks. Guard yourselves. Guard Our Lady. Guard the hands that open doors. I sense among us someone who is not of us and who wishes us harm. Everyone, go now. Guard Our Lady and her hands at open doors. What? Uh, okay. Something about hands that open doors. Okay. The Oracle seems to be referring to you, you think? I wonder what that looks like. Huh. It's an interesting uh, wall set. I don't remember, actually. I don't think I've ever actually gone all the way up there to look. Two dro offer curse to a priest. The priest hefts it and sneers. I'll make sure you get a seat at the ceremony. In the back, he says. These are honored guests of the temple, says Trenad. Come to see the oracle. Make way. Just what is the ceremony, you ask? The priest bristles. Who are you? Marcus's people, sent to observe. Answer. Callistes sends her children to join Bane's army. They come from her dominion through the gateway, and thence to the upper lands. Okay, interesting. Now, let's go ahead and go in here. You stop inside the doorway, gaping at what you see. This is recorded as Journal Entry 7. You know, if we were pretending to be Marcus's people, we probably shouldn't gape. The gateway into darkness. Power thrums through the room. Power crackles in the air, making hair stir, making skin tingle. A giant statue of Callistes herself dominates the center portion. She is huge, commanding, her tail coiled beneath her, her skin gleaming like jet. Three of her hands brace an open arch, inside which swirls a sickly green mist. Her other arms point toward the far end of the room. Standing against the wall are three more arches, but instead of gr the green mist, these are filled with visions of home. The first shows a forest at night, with tree trunks like dark towers against an even darker black, uh, an even deeper black. The impression of a faint, clean, cool breeze washes through the room. The second doorway shows a small village, or what is left of one. A few cottages still stand, but many are burned out ruins. Once again, night rains. The third door shows moonlight playing on waves, an ocean shore. The water still looks clean, untainted by evil, for now. But Callistes is pointing to them. A voice seems to ring through the room. I want those lands. I want them. Get them for me, my children. Get them for me. Who can guess what Callistes is? From that description, at least. Yeah, you, you might be kind of surprised when you see it. And interested, considering the basis of this game. Okay. About the statue stand guards priests and monsters. It towers above them, arms reaching out, hands seeming to clutch at you, power hums in them. The audience flees from the coming battle. And what are we up against? Oh, multi-directional enemies. Oh, I hate multi-directional enemies. 
Okay. Um, I really want to cast a spell on them and them, but I do not want Tranet getting in the way. Uh, okay, let's see if she can get over to the other side. Yes, she can. Yay! Boo. Alright. Uh, go with a fireball. Yay! Probably not going to hit many of them. Nope, unfortunately. But this is the important one. Blade Blast Fireball. Ooh, casting. Um, nah, okay, let's make sure I get all the drove. Yay! Cast disintegrate. Okay, that's enough with the fireballs. Yeah. Oh, goody. Delayed last fireball. Yeah, you shouldn't piss me off. Shadow can go up a level now. Alright, let me double check to see. Oh. I really wish I knew what those were, too. Oh, I should have looked to see what those what that what was on that scroll. Oh, you know what? Let's try to see if she can take some of this stuff. I'm not sure if she goes through with us or not, but it might be worth trying. That's good enough. You are alone in the room. Soon the night spawn will come. The statue's delicate seeming hands point towards the gates that will take them to the, that they will take to the realms. You call to the slaves. They emerge from hiding and escape through the portals. Trenet smiled. Ah, oh, phooey. Oh well. It's been fun, but I think we've played this town long enough, she says and steps through. You must close the portals to the Overland, or the Nightspawn will invade the realms. How? Think back to the Oracle you think back to the Oracle's words. Guard guard our lady and you know what you must destroy. The Oracle said to destroy hands. You smash the statue's hands. The three portals showing your homelands go dark. Congratulations, the party gains experience like we needed it. Okay, um... Go ahead and save it. Ah, there we go. The portal to Callisti's realm's beck realm beckons. Do you step through? Yes, I do. You arrive at Elminster's camp in Limbo. Elminster notices your arrival and approaches. You tell El Elminster your story. <clears throat> I'm glad you. I'm glad that you were able to give the dro such a rattling. Still, what bodes of, of the working of workings of Callistes worries me greatly. He explains. This is recorded as journal entry 17. Uh, lots of journal entries. Elminster speaks of Callistes. I have met Callistes before, and beware, she is a power to be reckoned. It is good that you did destroy her paths into the prime material. 
for it is sure that she meant to send her children into the realm. These knights spawn are her strength, but know that they are her maternal weakness, too. I sense that the powers that have robbed the sun from, moon sea, from the moon sea sky lie beyond this portal. Callistes is an agent supreme of Bane, so in all probability it is she who controls this force. This is but a guess, but tis my best. Okay. I believe that ye, that any draw items ye ha, that you have will pass through limbo to Callistes dimension. After all, their power comes from those evil lands. How may I help? Train! Level 22 Paladin. Level 24 Ranger. 26 Cleric. 23 Mage. Uh, power Blind. Level, level, uh, level 11 Ranger. Level 18 Thief. Let's see if anyone lost experience. I bet someone did. No, she did not. Wow. I'm impressed. Oh, she did. So did he. Oh, oops. I'm looking at the wrong one. Wow, five million experience points. Hmm. I am surprised that she didn't lose experience. Okay. Let's save. And begin adventuring. Let's store stuff. Actually, you know what? Uh, first, let's rest. I am going to go through um, and see what items I can keep with me. Because uh, I might have gotten some new items since uh, um, I last came through that will uh, uh, go with me, but I am not sure. Let's go ahead and save it. And move on. Let's go to Callisti's land. Off you go to Callisti's land. I have seen them briefly in my wanderings. They are a stalking ground for death. Remember, thy items may be destroyed. Items from the Prime Material Plane can be left safely in storage here. Do you continue on? Continue to Callisti's land? Yes, I do. Elminster leads you to the gate. Farewell. The winds of Limbo tear at you. Okay, so all of my armor. Okay, I'm gonna let me pause it so that we can actually do this uh, for real. Um, after I check all my items. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to. Oh wait. Duh. Um. <laughs> Thought it was a new video. All right, my bad. <clears throat> anyway, uh, okay, we're uh, uh, at the storage. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, start depositing stuff. Uh, let me go ahead and pool. I don't need. I don't think I need money in the next area. Um, okay, so that will be destroyed. That will be destroyed. That will be destroyed. That will be destroyed. This will not, and it is a ring of cold resistance. That and these two will not be destroy destroyed, but all of these will. So, let's go on to him. Uh, that will not be destroyed. And neither will a ring of protection from evil. That will. Do, 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 do. Let's trade that to him. Hmm, excuse me. 1d2 plus 9. 12. 12. And 12. Okay, so these are all the same. these will be including this ring of fire resistance but not the ring of blinking
You'd think that he'd, I don't know, have something like a, um, a, a stash of uh, non-magical equipment that I could uh, take or something like that. Alright. Okay, everything but the Ring of Wizardry and that fine longbow. So let's deposit it all. Well, I'm impressed. How did that manage to happen? Um, well, shoot. One of these uh, composite longbows, and that cloak is non-magical. Okay. Um, so basically, one of these composite longbows is non-magical, so that'll go through. The cloak is non-magical. I don't know why I never checked it. That will go through, of course. Um, but it doesn't do any good. Uh, so I actually need to go rest, uh, go back and, and do the rest thing and cast a detect magic. Um, and everything but her fine longbow will be destroyed. So uh, now you have a good idea of uh, if you have any of these items, uh, what not to take, uh, what to leave here. And um, I'm going to end the video here. We'll pick it up in the next episode uh, as I'm about to uh, go into the web dimension. I'll see you in the next episode.